I think it's so sweet that you're asking this question. I had the same problem when I was about, you know, 18. Because, I, and I, some, I, I not, it started then and it's only now that I feel passionate about something because I've not been very passionate a kind of person anyway. That's okay, but the thing is, the most important thing is to know yourself, no? If you don't know yourself and you don't know what your priorities are and what makes you happy, then how will you shape your life accordingly? Then you're only waiting for external stimuli. If you can identify a few things, oh, if you can identify a few things that give you pleasure, that are in your control, some of it at least, not all of it is, you know, most of it is not, then, and follow that. I, like I was saying earlier, I'm not ideal on this panel because I was never passionate about acting. I never really wanted to become an actor. But today, I'm passionate about wanting to make a film. And I know this because it's, I've been at the same thing for almost two years. I was never a writer. I've written a script. You know, it's, for me, it's a major achievement. For other people, it, it's minor. It's just that I never thought I would stick with one thing for so long. So the best is to get to know yourself really well, and it's not easy. It's not. advertising I never want I never knew what advertising was so I'm a science graduate I just you keep stumbling in life you keep falling and then you realize okay your work can eventually become your passion that's hello yeah I think what you're saying is absolutely relevant because it's um, you know if, if, if there's something that you um, want to really work at to get better and better and be, you know, at least aspire to be the best in what you do. That is passion. I mean, it can't come without passion. So it does not matter. Hard, you can hear me, right? A hard work can lead to a lot of self-discovery. You know, and through that you can discover your passion. Um, you know, like what it is you care about, how far you can push yourself, what your priorities are. I think it's only in terms of adversity that you actually get to know, you know, what is important and what is not. And that your true character comes out. I think there's this um, really interesting book about mindsets, if someone has read it. Um, it's by this uh, Stanford professor called Carol Dweck, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, she talks about how people largely are of two types, the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. The fixed mindset person believes that, uh, you know, say somebody is a great dancer, she thinks that, oh my God, blah. The other person who is not, I mean, who is not the, you know, so-called um, one percentile of the curve where, you know, are born ultimately gifted or exceptionally uh, talented or whatever, but have the ability and the will and the consistency of purpose to sort of take it all the way and to really excel in what they are doing. And I think they are the ones who actually make it in the long run and they are able to sustain that passion or convert what they are doing into, into something that really is, you know, top of the line or really sustainable. Uh, hello. Uh, two more questions and uh, we'll call it a day. Uh, this question is related to thinking, what if I like to do four to five things? Like, you know, I like to sing, I like to dance, I like to cook, I like to design. So, there are many such women, men, you know, who have too yeah. many things and they I, get I bored also. I know, I know that feeling because I yeah. feel exactly the same way. Yeah. I want to do five things. And, and I want to do all of them and I don't want to. But I think you you realize um, that there, there will always be one thing that you will go to any lengths to, to be able to do. There will always be that one thing which no matter what happens, you will do that. Okay? And uh, it could be anything. But uh, then you will realize that that is what is something that you really want to hold on to. I mean, we are all good at multiple things. And as women, I think we are all excellent multitaskers. And we may do several things really well, but there will always be one thing you will fight to do. And that's what you should yeah. You can also channelize your, your, all your passion into one, uh, one mode. So you can always, you know, take the painting, the dancing, and the singing into one channel. And for all you know, it will be, a, you know, a film. The most important thing is that you, uh, 
you feel the need to creatively express yourself it seems since you have described uh, not things like science or uh, you know uh, uh, well you've described uh, dancing singing photography design design last last question last question please okay, uh, even i am interested in to acting and uh, seeing people struggle at auditions right now at like uh, so being it just 18 years old there are so many confusions in your mind that you don't know where it lead you to like you're not even sure if you'll get into acting or not so how do you deal with such confusions and unsurety First of all, as Bhankara said earlier, find your path or find that one thing that you. She was telling you know what do you want. So once you find that, the the auditions and all will be a piece of cake. So you have to find one whether you want to be an actor or you want to be something else. It, you have to find that from what do you want is what uh, you have to question yourself. No. I know I like. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I want to get into it, but then giving so many auditions in a day, and then uh, I have done an advertisement, but I've seen friends who they got nothing, and then they feel so over. Like, uh, can I can I tell you a motivational story? Yeah. Okay. So when I was when I just uh, when I was working in a magazine um, as an assistant editor, um, there was a, a girl who was interning with me. Okay, she was just out of college in Sapphires, and um, like many uh, people of that generation, or even I mean, even much older people, she was confused about what she really wanted to do. She was a good journalist. She was very good at what she did. She really um, took charge of things. She was she was a great asset to the company, and uh, she was there with me for about a year. And I, I think one day when we were having tea at the staircase, she told me, you know what, I want to be an actor. And uh, and she said, I I need to run now, because uh, uh, I said, you know what, run. But you you may need to run for a long time before you actually make it happen for you. It'll be a very long arduous journey, but at the end of it, if you really want that, it'll be worth it, and you'll make it happen. She got her first break six years later, after doing theatre workshops. um you know with various intense um you know theater programs uh, you know body work improv lots of things but she made it happen okay today she is doing really well her name is richa chadda and i'm very proud of her thank you so much one last point please watch page 3 thank you very very much our team panelists um so the ladies really are asking how do i know that this is what i was born to do so wait a few minutes our next panel address is
देखिए मैं एक चीज़ ही बोलूँगी विच इज़ दैट इट्स आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर वुमेन टू हैव फाइनेंशियल इंडिपेंडेंस आई थिंक वुमेन हैव मैनी मैनी आइडेंटिटीज एज डू मैन बट इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू नो वी नो आर सेल्व एंड वी नो वॉट वी वॉन्ट फ्राम लाइफ एंड वी हैव द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू क्रिएट दोज चॉइसिस फॉर आर सेल्व एंड आई थिंक दैट द रीज़न वाई आई एम हेयर टूडे इज़ टू इनकरेज मोर वुमेन टू वर्क एंड फॉर वर्किंग मदर्स टू जॉइन द वर्क फॉर्स एंड फॉर कॉपरेट्स एंड कंपनीज टू वेलकम दैम एम्ब्रेस दैम एंड हैव फ्लेक्सीबल पॉलिसीज सो दैट वी कैन इंक्लूड दिस होल डेमोग्राफिक इन टू द वर्क फॉर्स थैंक यू